Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. Now, I was thinking at the beginning of this episode, is like, as much as I love, I was so looking forward to converting this from CK2 over to EU4, and I and I and I am glad I did it. But I'm wondering if it might be more entertaining to play as somebody else and try to either you know trade with or fight or you know become a part of the Ro you know you know become a vassal of the Roman Empire something like that I was actually think maybe it would be fun to go over to America and play as the high Americans as somebody over there maybe the Aztec or the Inca or maybe one of the other states something like that uh, I really want to do whatever you guys feel you think it is going to be most entertaining though I think from my personal point of view that the most entertaining thing is going to be to go over to the Americas and play high American over there and you know try to fight the Roman Empire I feel like that might be more entertaining but I I'm gonna really leave that up to you guys I want to know what you feel so please uh, leave me some comments let me know what you think as much as I am loving the Roman Empire uh, when I start a game oh, fucking hell when I start playing games uh, I like to start weak and grow into power I don't like starting off powerful I mean I get bored easily doing that and I mean this is the very definition of starting out powerful who are all these are these all Danmark yeah those are all Dan Markian ships it's not Denmark it's Danmark it's the land of Dan all right now do, 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 do. I was thinking about I know I was the last time I was playing I was talking about moving my main trade port yeah look at that right now it's over here in in Venice and I think I should move it over here yes most definitely most most definitely and I also feel like I should be pushing trade and not like right now I have somebody up collecting in Lubeck should I have him doing that? And what are you doing in Alexandria? Transfer. He's transferring trade power up here. Okay. That's okay. I feel like I could use more merchants, though. Now, what do I need? Say I wanted to move my main trade port. 300 Diplo power. Okay, so we need 300 points to do that. So we're going to need to wait a little while on that. All right, now I know I was talking about going to war with some people. Now, Bohemia or Bo? Do I have any vassal? I don't. I, I I'm not. I haven't been playing this game too much, so I'm a little lost as to where even I was before. Oh my god! Look at that force limit: 592 without any modifiers, really. God damn it! And no, nobody is a subject nation of mine yet. Uh, we could go to war with Poland, though. I think. Nope. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. My leader died. Leaving me with a very... With an eight-year-old in charge and a regency council. Hmm. No. There's no, op there's no option to declare war right now. Which leaves me not with a lot to do. Hmm. Who is this? Who, who is this that loves me? Oh, the Knights. Um, right here. Knights of Malta. Uh, I don't know why I let them have their own province. I don't know why I decided to do that. I just liked it. They can be my vassal. Great. That works out well for me. That's what I wanted, actually. That's, that's definitely what I wanted. I find it interesting that in Crusader Kings 2, this was all area... This was, this was you know, conquerable area. You could go into this. But in EU4, it's wasteland. I understand why. It's just I find it interesting. Oh, God. I can't believe I have to wait. It's kind of... Wasting time now. Although, seriously, guys. Seriously. Um, what I, what I've forgotten to do so far and what I, what I did say I was going to do is, was I was going to make the save file for this, um, downloadable. I, I gotta find, I gotta put it up on a file sharing website somewhere. I'd never really done that before, so I'm just going to go do my research and find one I like. I'm going to make, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm definitely going, improvements in naval technology, yes. Definitely going to 
make this file available so if you guys want you can play and you know play in the world that I created here but I, I'm serious I'm only a few episodes in and I'm already like you know what maybe maybe there's something a, a, a more entertaining way of doing this uh, and that's admin I'm wait I needed 300 diplo right to move your main trading port to this province I should do that right I feel like I should, yes. Alright, now... Did... Did I do it? Oh, okay, it's already located in this node. So now we're automatically collecting from Provence. And right now we're transferring trade power to... Yeah, I feel like what I should be doing is transferring trade power this way. So why don't we... Well, it goes from Venice. Let's see. Let's let's follow. No, it goes in. Is that an end node? Cardinal bribe to move. Oh, well. The church hates me. I don't care. Uh, one of our cardinals in the Roman Empire is proved to be skilled in administer and already deprived you still in the emperor. Alright. He has aided as far so far. Only over with. Strange missionary strength, tolerance of heretics, yearly papal influence. Or prestige. I got just says Regency Council. <laughs> I don't have. I don't. I, I just doesn't even put in the name of my person, which I don't even know his name right now, honestly. Constantinos Theodingi. Why not? Do I have? I actually have enough to convert. Oh, okay, it's the uh, the heretical area. And tech, uh, yes, why don't we tech up? Tech is so goddamn cheap for the Roman Empire. Provincial unrest. Uh, defect to the Adrissids. Rise of Safawiha. The rich Sufi, such as the Persians, transformation to a large as they sect of the military order. Okay. Local unrest. Oh, we got some more unrest. I like how trading in fish gets us unrest. I guess people like fish. So let's go to that pro let's find that province. Yeah, let's see if we can spot it real quick. Hilha. Hilha. Carnal policies upset nobles. Not a big deal. And let's grab nearest units, which is the third Liberatrix. The Liberators. The third Liberator Legion. Oh, you are kind of done there. Uh, Bohemia, though. Let's improve relations there. I just kind of want to... Do uh, you guys... Same religion... I like how the demoted the Pope. Everybody hates me because I did that, but quite frankly, I don't care. Huh? I lost. I wasn't paying attention. Did I have my slider down again? I thought I had. It, I thought I left it up. I did leave it up. We legit lost. Okay, we'll go again. Let's send you to. Let's get get you a leader this time. He's little the Denmark. Someone did point that out that it's Denmark, not Denmark, and I, I I laughed. I was like, I wonder how long it was like that. Remove uh, Kironia. Wait. Oh, the Pope. How I loathe you. So many pop ups. All right, let's um. Let's dismiss those ones. Grand Royal Marriage with Rus. Uh, get presents in India. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, let's go for that. We need a new admin. Uh, we're just gonna go for level 3 because we can't afford it because we're rich as fucks. Like, 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 I've never, 
n never had an income anywhere like that before, but then I've never played the game to a point where I had an empire that looked like this before. Let's see. Each year you gain minus 15 papal influence. <laughs> oh, they hate me. God damn it. I, I think that's fun, though. Uh, I, I don't I don't mind that the Pope hates me. Uh, it was talked about a lot in the comments. I was like, eh, just not a big deal. I'm just, I'm just, th this is for shits and giggles right now. Like, seriously, I'm the Roman Empire. I've got a monthly income of almost 300 ducats. I can raise an army of 600,000 men. There's nobody that can fight me. It's just going to be kind of dicking around and doing things for shits and giggles. Bedouin Patriots. Uh, boost stability. Stability is already at two. Where is this province? Hill Aw. Let's find the province. There it is. So, uh, what can we. Su well, how many men can we support there? 20? So let's send 15 over and hang out. That should that should knock it down a little bit. Now let's maintain him there for now. So he's demand old rights. Um, so this changing by. Uh, we'll we'll accept that for for now. Uh, when the regency ends, this will start cranking up pretty quickly. All right, that knocked it down a good good deal. Now, how much how how much would how powerful would our missionaries need to be? Uh, well, it's not. It's only off by about a percentage right now. Right now, it's only off by one percent. That's not too bad. Re I love that religious unity of a hunt. We're, we're we're super super unified. More exhaustion, yearly papal influence, missionaries. What ideas did I grow up? I completely forgot about that. Oh, right, 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 right. I do not remember it being 400 power points for each one of those. I do not recall that. I mean, we can we can maybe start fucking around down here. I can't declare war right now. I have a regency council. We lost our leader. And we'll leave him out for now. Might as well start conquering shit. Let's see here. We fight the past, it fights back. Dedication to more liberal understanding is part of this estate means their neighbor. Okay. Well, uh, everybody likes us less. Interesting. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean... Sunni zealots have crossed our borders. Oh, way down there. Interesting. Cost of spell is expiring. No big deal. Not like I can do anything about it at the moment. I mean, why not? We're safe. <laughs> Why, 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 why not send him there? It's not like it's gonna make. I'm not doing anything with him right now. I have an extra one. I'm not doing anything with. Hmm. I'd really like to. Well, maybe we could. Let's see. No. Let's. I guess we could bring you back. No, they're just marching around. That's not a big deal. I need to be able to explore some of these other regions, though. And I need to move this way. I need to fight the Adrissids and start conquering land. Like, just kind of go... Bleep, 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 like, down the coastline here, I think. I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to fight them. Uh, how many more years of regency do I have? Well, I'm 12. So we're getting there. And what we we're gonna do? We we're gonna we we're gonna try to drown. It. We we're gonna make it rain over here. Uh, economic. Uh, send a gift. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. All right. I guess that's the max. I don't think that's gonna get us where we wanted to be. Leukemia. One hundred and eighty-eight. Ah, so close. Rogue Nation, I love it. I'm the Rogue Nation. Oh, that's so funny.
of everybody on the, in the world, I am the rogue nation. October 1st. Look how close that is. So close. Paula declared. Okay, that's good. When I can, I'm going to war. Fucking Regency Council, though. God damn it, man. Cardinal policies upset nobles. <laughs> Seriously, don't care that much. We should probably keep a, a, a large army stationed in Italy just for shits and giggles. It is the capital, I mean. Let's move these... We'll move these guys down. Uh, let's bring in a leader. 50 power points for a shitty leader. That sucks. I think we're... Yeah, we're we're pretty far ahead on these, so we're getting these big, bone, these big debuffs. I'm seriously, seriously consider going as playing as the High Americans. And trying to fight the Romans. Doesn't that sound cool? Alright, almost there. Oh, boom, right like that. Converge on them. Probably hold a decent amount of troops on these, you know, built-up coastline areas. Come on, you can do it. There you go. And there we are. Uh, we have our cost of spell light down here. Uh, still can't declare war. Still can't declare war. Man, these people. In uh, independence for Sweden. I don't plan on giving Sweden independence. Increased autonomy. Defect of Bohemia. A new Pope already? Wow, that last one didn't really last very long, did he? Man, they do not like me down here, do they? Are these the Adrissids? They are the Adrissids. Any day now, I'd love to be able to end my Regency, 13 years old. Kind of just waiting that out at this point. Almost have enough for... What's the next idea? Tolerance of heretics? Who counts as a heretic for me? Tolerance of heretical beliefs. Coptic Cathar... Okay. And these are heathens. Man, this is going to keep popping up, isn't it? I think that that's just going to... be Because of uh, me continuing to spit in the face... That's kind of what I'm doing. I'm just like, fuck the Pope. I think because of that, they don't really. That, that's gonna keep happening. No, I'm not terribly concerned about it. There's woods and a river crossing. I like that. I, I'm seriously loving the Danmark. Tolerance of heretics. Woohoo! Oh, uh, we also got national unrest of minus one. That'll help a lot, a lot. That actually helps a, a good deal. And what's next? Diplomatic reputation. Uh, years, of, years of nationalism. That's pretty cool. And it, okay, two more to get to the accepted culture threshold thingamajiggle. 104.1 years. Yeah, that actually knocked a lot of these down. That extra. Extra, less, one, one, unrest, increased centralization. When did I do that? I'm just taking a look at these. Uh, I could revoke this guy if I ever wanted to. Like, if I really want to go super... Ruler has diplomatic skill of four, so all I need is a, a skill of four and a theologian. I could revo I could change my mind on that if I wanted to. Um, should we? Well, I say should we? We can't save up very much. 
But what I can do is I can save up a little bit and can do some construction. I mean, money is no object here. So anything that is military, military power points. Just to use them up. Because I don't want to... You know, it's... It, it, I feel like it would be a bigger waste to uh, use them on the a head penalty. Uh, armories. We can build armories across the entire empire. Jesus fucking Christ. Now, I wish I could sort this by... Oh, god damn it. Do I ever wish I had a bet? <laughs> look, at th look at this shit. God damn it. Okay, let's just um, start with Italy. Let's just work our way up. I wish I could, I wish there was a map, uh, a list where I could sort it by the most beneficial. I wish that was something that existed. Hmm, and cultures, those are. I could go about. No, I'm not going to change anybody's culture. Definitely not going to change anybody's culture till I have that accepted cultures thing, because I don't, there's no point in me trying to change the culture of something that's eventually going to become accepted. That could, you know, make it become unaccepted. Alrighty, now, how much longer are we having a regency for? 14, is it 15? 16? Don't honestly remember. Oh, you know what? I forgot to I forgot to uh, peek over here. And what did I? That's probably Diplo. Probably yeah. We're we're still at sixty percent ahead. I really don't want to burn that many points. It's a lot. Bur it would be burning a lot of points that I don't need to burn on on that. So what we can do is just keep going on constructing. Uh, so we're we're looking at Diplo power points. That's admin. Military. That's Diplo. And that's Diplo. And again, God damn it, do I ever wish. Oh, fucking hell, would you look at this? Don't you, don't you just wish you could sort it by the most beneficial. I'm just eyeballing this right now. Never really considered this being a problem. But now it definitely is. Ruler came of age. New Emperor 124. Not great. He's okay. I just kind of eyeball on shit, trying to find anything that's uh, at least a halfway decent number. Hmm. There's a, there's a couple decent ones up here. Oh, fuck, was I just building the wrong things? Oh, shit, that was admin. God damn it. I didn't want to do that. Whoops. Ah, this stuff's already started construction. Alright, let's just let it keep going. God damn it, I wasn't paying attention. That's admin. That's Diplo. Fucking hell. Can increase my trade power. Is there any point in doing that in regions where I had to control everything? I do not know. Hmm. Is there any point in increasing my trade power in these nodes where I own literally everything? Oh, you know what I can fucking do? I can fucking declare war now. Well, first let's look at Bohemia. 180. Can we... Might be able to... Can we improve that to... If we can improve it up high enough. That'd be nice. Do, 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 declare war. Take this area down here. I always declare war on Poland or Russia. If I, or Rus. uh, I don't have a diplomat to send at the moment. We will soon, though. And we're going to take this entire area for shits and giggles.
Uh, detach. Chase this guy down. I have no idea what tech level he is at. Three. So he isn't teched up at all. Which means I definitely have better tech than him. Yep. Very simple. Saint proclaimed that one of your ruler's most esteemed and revered ancestors. I would believe that. I mean, I have a long, powerful, this is starting to sound dirty, you know, list, <laughs> god damn it. I have a huge list of awesome people that in, in, in my ancestry there. I'm sure that some of them are, are worthy of sainthood. Now guys, don't let me forget to make this save file available to you. I've been it's so fucking busy the, uh, recently that I keep forgetting to do things that I promising to do and then I never like... I actually, for the first time in like, I think like seven months, I missed an episode. I, I missed an upload on my channel. And I felt bad about it. And but, but I mean, I'm working so fucking much these days. It's just sometimes it's really hard to keep, keep everything going. I mean, it's, I, I'm sure it's Okay, another shitty dude. I, I'm willing to bet that most people are completely willing to either didn't notice or didn't care, completely willing to forgive the fact that I missed an episode, but I hate that I missed an episode. I hate it. Alright, and we're going to siege this shit down. Going to war in Russia. Oh, are we at war with Denmark too? Or is that a Russian ship? No, it looks like we're at war with Denmark too. Ah, oh, it's not a big deal. I, I'm so overconfident, I'm not even paying attention to alliances. Is it a, it's probably a bad thing to be that overconfident. I'm just like, eh, whatever. Uh, is that Bohemia? No, that's Poland fighting. Oh, I can't wait to get the, the tech... You know what? Is this military tactics combat with... No, it's not going to get me what I wanted. A supply limited is what I was interested in. Oh, I, ac I accidentally destroyed Denmark's fleet. Okay, fine by me. We're going to attack these guys here. So what we're going to do is hit you, and then we'll send in reinforcements after the battle is joined. Because they'll send in their reinforcements, I'll send in mine. Actually, you know what? It's not going to make a difference. Uh, let's split in half. Well, we're going to be careful over here. We're not going to try to be too overconfident. We're going to try to be careful. Probably just split the army in half, and both armies in half. Do two sieges at once. Let's, cha let's actually chase this guy down first. Another battle. Very good. Where is he going? It's retreating through my land? Is, is he going to head all the way up here? Ruthenia, Bohemia. Denmark, Liverpool. Okay, a lot of people joined in. Wait. Bohemia? You motherfuckers! I feel like re-rolling. There we go. And that's why eventually, <laughs> eventually it'll, I figured it'd work out for me. All right, let's try to hit them here. I feel, I feel confident, confident about this, this attack right here. They're going to send in their reinforcements, but they're getting, well, let's, we'll see what happens.
No, they're heading this way. They're not sending... Oh, no, they were. They were. Uh, looks like my morale is breaking. Uh, it looks like they're going to win this battle. But we still suffer... We still inflicted plenty of casualties. I do not... Uh, how am I, how am I, I'm not saying I don't care. It's just, it's like... I'm really, like... Not half-assing, quarter-assing. Eh, we'll call it half-assing this. Just kind of flying by the seat of my pants, seeing what's going to happen. Alrighty. Uh, but we're just about at, out of time here, so I'm going to drop this right here. Uh, we, we played through the Regency console, which I like. Do we get tech? Um, still ahead. Damn it. We'll be ahead for like five more years. Anyway, uh, we finally got through the Regency console. We're able to declare war, which is excellent. So if you've enjoyed this, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Europa Universalis 4, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.